Try it. Let's let's try it. One, two, three, four. The purpose of this isn't to you know show the history of contemporary Christian music or to highlight any era. It's just you know. Kind of in those beginning days and years, here's some of the music that touched people's lives. Here's a, just a smattering of the artists that were out there doing it. I mean, this is going to be in one show, one concert, one evening. You're going to hear Don Francisco singing, He's Alive and Gotta Tell Somebody. And you're going to hear Barry McGuire do classics, Jenny Grind do Covenant Woman. But it's a really nice cross section from from Barry McGuire to Chuck Gerard to David Meese to The Archers to me to Reba, you know, it's a really interesting cross section. Uh, you compile all that artistry and all those songs and all those albums, as we used to call them. You're talking about millions of lives that were touched by the songs that, the, that will be heard in this concert. That's an amazing thing. I, I'm so glad it's being captured. Cause I'll run. somehow we'll understand in the fullness how important music is to God and actually it is the premier art of the Bible and I don't think that God looks down on other art forms it's just that this is close to his heart because this is how man can express his love to God in the most effective way and that's what music's about. Uh, we never thought about being famous or that we were changing the scene of anything. We are just a bunch of hippies that got saved. So I think the great value for this is that people that will not relate to the church anymore will relate to something like this. I don't want one person to leave this place without having been changed by the Spirit of God, and that's what I'm believing. That song has had more impact than anything we've ever done. It's, it's known not only in this country, but it's known all over the world. It touched a lot of people's life, and you look back and you go, wow, that's a gospel classic. To this day, someone will walk up to me and say, man, I remember when I was a teenager and you were in this concert, and that's when I found God. That's when I found Jesus. That's, that's the best. Growing up in church, you knew that music did not reach your friends at high school. You know, they knew you were a Christian, they knew you were a preacher's kid, but it was like, man, eh, you know, not into church music. They were into rock and roll, they were into this, they were into that. Then they would come and see our band play and they'd go, I don't know you could play that kind of music in church. There's not a person here that doesn't have an anointing and a calling. And that if you've got that, then God's given you something to say. I want to preach the gospel. I want to see people's lives changed. I want to tell people about how good God is, about how much He loves them. And you could communicate that 
with music. Okay, now if you combine the power of the Word of God with that, you've got something that can change somebody's life. What's happening here is spontaneous joy beyond words. Come on, everybody, sing it all together, all the way through. And butterflies, we both been born, we've been born again. To come in with all these people that were so much a part of my own life, and to hear them sing with such power, such conviction. There was a zeal, but now there's a wisdom with the zeal. And I watch them and it brings back such amazing memories. The songs stand the test of time. Well, these guys have been the ones that say, if, if I can walk, I can go. If I can talk, I can sing. And they get out there and just do it and give it all they have. And it's so exciting to watch. Wow.